Can we order another drink? What are you having? Nice. Alright, the Rusty Nail, Radmaster, Garibaldi. These weren't even a list of our ingredients and ratios. Sazerac, and Art Carvis. Taste like orange, Blue Boy. Dan Svenska, Bjorn Stammen. Natasha Allegri. I gotta know what's in the Natasha Allegri. Actually, I think I saw what this one was on Twitter. So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? Drinkinary, free and open alcoholpedia says it's a cup of chocolate milk and two shots of Everclear. That sounds about right. <laughs> Natasha Allegri being a uh, former uh, worker on Adventure Time and the woman responsible for being a puppy cat. In case you didn't know. Uh, oh, alright. You got it. Coming right up. A nice, refreshing Natasha Allegri. Can I order anything else? Sickly Sky, tastes like orange, core peel. Canopy, dense fits, Bjornstam, TMF. Uh, air Drink, Mo Sugar Rush, Modest Connie. I'm looking for new ones. A Michelada, those are good. That's a beer and Clamato and hot sauce. And I'm probably missing something in there, but it's good. It's like a Bloody Mary with beer, if you want the basic gist of it, but it's good, regardless. Sunshine Cloud, Power Play, bitch, butch, fla butch Flower, it's called a Bitch Flower. Fluffy Dream, Persian June, Bears Winter Teeny, Scotch Drop and Roll. So all these, drinking game. Kind of curious what the drinking game is. Sour, I'm, I want to see if we can get through the, total, the whole list here. Groggy Nog, I'm surprised there's no Malt Nog. A PT, it's a PT. So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? Dictionary, the free and open alcoholopedia says orange flavored vodka with both lime juice and lemon juice. Huh, alright. You got it. Coming right up. It's pretty simple. Drink it. Oh, can I get drunk? That hit the spot. I didn't even think of that. Let's buy drinks and get drunk. This can't be about a Dougie's and cream. What's in a fucking IDK? Remind me, what's in that? Dictionary: The free and open alcoholpedia says a mint flavored soda with a swig of gin. That actually sounds kind of good. What's a drink of fucking? I don't know. If anybody's in chat and wants me to drink anything in particular, just let me know. Uh, fluffy dream. What's in the drinking game? I was curious about that one. Somebody drinks the game. What's in that? Dictionary, the free and open alcoholopedia says it's a surprise. You never know what it's going to taste like. Tender's choice. Oh, alright. You got it. Let's find out what's in the drinking game. This time. Keep this up, you'll need to find a bathroom. Alright, let's uh... We are fairly well buzzed, so uh, let's go take a look around. A woman stands at a drink table, quietly people watching. Her ears are definitely those of someone who's undergone gene therapy. She's a hybrid. I like this guy's style. They're really into dancing right now. Oh, this person's style. Enjoy the moment, you suppose. They look really hyped. Dancing all fine and good, but gosh, this is exhausting. Can I headphone them? Hype dancer, don't need the don't need those to dance in. That's a sweet pair of headphones. Okay. Keep looking. Megaphobator. It's an arcade cabinet. Yes! Megaphobator. 
One of the most ghost shooters is soul uh, ghoul blast in Espana will have the side of the bay. This game looks kind of freaky, all the lips and eyes. Okay, what else we got here? The arcade version of Charge Shot, a jetpack bounty hunter deathmatch game. You can imagine how much fun this is when intoxicated. The arcade version of Super Indy Karts! I knew that would find its way in here eventually. One of the most fun and dynamic car racing games around. Patrons are often found playing this and making bets, so whoever loses buys the next round. It's like they knew about my stream with the drinking and the driving. This is the barrier between the arcade and the VIP section. Apparently sitting isolated and far away from the dance floor and video games make you important somehow. It gets closed off for special nights and events, but usually it's just so busy there's no point in waiting to get in. Can we uh, headphone it? Not a good idea. The headphones radiation gets screwed with the logic board inside the game cabinet. And if that happens, the unexplainable will transpire. Oh, really? It's currently out of order. No! Busted. Stardust should take better care of their machines. Can we play? We can. We can technically play Super Indie Cards. So I can fire it up right now. I'm not going to. Currently out of order. This machine isn't playable. This sucks. Oh, we need to actually check out the tables. These fancy tables have little touch screens where you can order drinks from the bar and browse the mesh. Headphone. It. The obnoxious beat is even louder, more obnoxious now. You work your way into the crowd and show off some of your best moves for a while. That was fun. Yay. Don't have anything good to put on it or under it. Don't leave it there. Someone might think it's safe to drink. Drink menu is constantly being read out. Okay. I guess we'll talk to you. Hi. Yes, what do you want? Hello, I'm looking for a person named Tomcat. What the hell? So you head right up to the chick with the ears? Because of course she'd have the cat name. I get it. Unfreaking believable. Sorry, you're just the only person standing there. <laughs> nice save, jerk. Listen, I'm cruising for cuties, and I don't appreciate you blocking the view. I don't know where Tomcat is, so shove off. Is this like future Matty Bryce? Hunting cuties. Okay, let him know I'm looking for them if you see them. Yeah, alright. Whatever. Just get moving. Hi. Hey there. Heard you were looking for me? What can I do for you? Are you Tomcat? The one and only. Although I prefer it if you keep it a little quieter than you have been. I love the hair. I like the outfit too. Very simple. I do my share of moseying on both sides of the law, if you know what I mean. Uh, is that why that woman's giving me such a hard time? Nah, Jess is just a bit of a prick to pay. She'd probably give you give hell to just about anyone who wanted up instead of bothering her with something. No, don't matter what. To what do I owe the pleasure of our uh, meeting here? Uh, a friend of mine, Hayden, has gone missing. We found a note saying he was going to meet you. Hayden is missing? Well, that is sour news indeed. I see you got his little rhyme with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. You know about me and my creation? Hayden never mentioned your involvement to me. Sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end of your OS so that the AI code Hayden wrote for you would, be, would interface properly with the network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw it fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Not much more on that end. I didn't have much to do with your core eye routine, so I can't really elaborate. Sorry, dear. Anything else I can help with? Uh, tell us about yourself. Sure, you may have heard of me in the news. About ten years ago, I hacked into Parallax's main ROM servers, because caused one hell of a stink if I do say so myself. People were arguing back and forth whether I was a kid genius or a malicious criminal. And myself and enforcing that blackout for a few years, but I think it was worth it for that prestige. 
Uh, why I get a parallax? I guess I did it to see if I could. I mean, parallax is a mighty big target, bigger than the government in many ways. With as many rounds as they have on the market, they need some sort of tough, some of the toughest security in the world. Uh, what to do with the accent? Are you from the south? Nah, dear. I'm California born and raised. I read a lot of books during my mandated blackout, and I just happened to get a novel about down south. I like to imagine myself as a southern belle, or maybe I'm just having three walking closets full of clothes. Ha ha ha. Uh, so which was it? Kid genius or malicious criminal? Ha ha ha. I don't know. I didn't really do it to steal anything, but I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. I gotta get better at just doing laughs for different characters. I chalk it up to the exuberance of youth, and now I try to stay on the straight and narrow. Mostly. Sometimes. How'd you know Hayden? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout ran out when he tapped me for my expertise in cracking the lips OS. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I think he just wanted someone to work on on and off the book books. He ain't the most straightforward man. Uh, what was Hayden working on? Most of that little guy you got there. I'm sure he had his fingers in a lot of pies. But touring is all I knew about. My computer runs on Lips OS. I didn't know ROMs did, too. The live intelligence processing system is the primary operating system of old parallax computers used to run on, but the company has since expanded it to make it especially useful for their ROMs. It's real heavy on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits, and it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. Uh, can you explain like I'm five? That's a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs within range, and they share file any files amongst themselves that the user hasn't flagged as private. It's handy in dense population areas like Neo SF, since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to, and a to access the internet. Uh, the sticks, though, you can't, uh, you're stuck connected to regular old pipes. Yuck. Uh, do you know why he may have gone missing? I'm not real sure. He was super hush hush about his work on touring, and that might have made Parallax upset. They're working on their own projects, and I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with them. That would just mean he would get fired and maybe even sued, but I can't imagine they would disappear him. They ain't the CIA or anything. Seriously though, what's Jess's problem? Ah, don't you worry about Jess none. She just don't have a lot of patience with talking to genotypical type folks like us. She's had to do a lot of awful pricks. Cause, well... Cause she's a hybrid? Well, that ain't the most delicate way of putting it. I'd leave her alone if I were you. You don't seem to be too well versed in hybrid issues. That's something you might want to think about working on, especially if you plan on talking to Jess. She's sharp enough on her own, but she's got friends in low places, if you catch my meaning. Oh, really? She owes me a favor or three, but I ain't sure I want to waste one on pulling your foot out of your own rear, you hear? Okay, so how do we find Hayden? I'm not really sure, hon, but I guess it might help if we knew why we why I went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Why don't you hop back on over to Hayden's place and grab, he, grab the data cache out of his computer for me? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being vanished. Alright, I'll come back when I have the data cache. Good luck. Torin, you keep him out of trouble. More drinks. Uh, I have a buzzer. So many drinks is this? Remind me, what's in that? Drinks, you know, they free not. They free not open alcoholpedia. It says coffee or hassy hot and Irish cream. I'd like to drink one buzzer, please. Nice! We got drunk. That was the mission. You passed out drunk and woke up here. I managed to get you back home before you went completely unconscious. I practically had to drag you. Be more responsible. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. Okay, so we have to go back to that other apartment. I'll take a quick break to grab some coffee. Uh, so we're going to put on the AFK reel. 
And uh, then we'll jump to that other apartment. And a quick save. Just to be safe. Okay, we good. Alright, coffee's heating back up. We should be back for now. Boop. So we're going back to our buddy's apartment. Halt, citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the NEOSF Police Department as part of the uh, part of ongoing investigations. Of course it has. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. Uh, it's my friend's place. Is everything okay? I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigations. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the, 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 the detective in charge who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. Listen, I really need to get in there. That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized neo SFPD personnel may enter. I am required to inform you that I am set to level two guard mode, and will and any effort to make unauthorized entry will be met with non-lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. I apologize, but must ask you to move along. Loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute, and I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. We should get go ahead and get moving, Negamon. Hmm, that was fruitless. I did not expect I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. Typically they would refuse to open an investigation on a missing person until at least forty eight hours had passed. Still, we need to get in there and get that data cache. Do you have any ideas, Negabone? You came down the fire escape. I have a contact with the police, apparently. Who would that be? I found no such connection when I compiled your personal history. Lexi, uh, she's kind of new to this jurisdiction, but she'll talk to me. Give me a moment, Nakobun. Oh, I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers, she used to date your sister. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. You have very poor net presence, Nagamon. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, it makes anticipating your needs more difficult. It's a bit creepy when you do that. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this... Investigation for now. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. Yay! That would be Detective Rivers stirring. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? Uh, if you want to keep all your teeth, yeah. I... I don't even have any teeth. Ahem, I mean, done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? Make a bun. Now, lead the way. Can we go there and actually like look at the robot? Yes. The ROMs of the Neo FPD talk quietly, but they carry a big stick, or chassis at least. Headphone him. Chatter of the Neo FPD police stream fills your ears. Is, is this even legal? Might not be. Alright. 